so next you have to start the sixth one nut m10 you have to do the part this is the nut okay so depth of this nut is 8 so to start the diagram sketch command is the top plane okay and this is the hexagon nut you have to draw the hexagon with respect to side 10 choose the polygon by center okay choose with respect to corner okay so go for smart dimension this is uh, the dimension 10 okay so select and delete the circle close and extrude command choose this one sketch and tick mark symmetric depth is 8 finish it next you have to give the hole give the threaded hole simple to threaded choose the thread will be m10 hold to the extent okay choose the top face place the circle at the exactly at the center close sketch and select the downwards this finish the hole inside the board so now we have to we have to incline cut on top and bottom both sides okay go for sketch command okay so choose the front view okay here you have to draw the 30 degree line okay so before going for that you have to choose the sketch command and rotate this one close it choose the bottom one okay so choose circle from the center you have to draw up to the point it will come 17.32 diameter Close sketch. Next, go for the front view. So we finish sketch and view. Now we can look at this one. You will get the and the reference point here. So draw tab 30 degree angle outside the diagram. Close the sketch. Okay. Go for mirror this one. Mirror up to the from center line. Top and bottom both will be drawing completed. Next, go for the include line. Okay, include the center line for axis. Revolve axis. Choose this one. Close it. Okay. Then go for revolve cut. Zoom it. Okay. So select both the sketch, tick mark with respect to center line, and it will come 360 directly. Give okay. it finish. Cancel and now control F and look at the hexagon nut is finished. Control T you will get the top view. Control I you will zoom this one. So threaded hexagon bolt is finished. Okay. So now give the material property. So what is in the material property here? Nut M10 Fe410W. Right to model again, right click part three file property summary title. Give this nut M10. Okay, nut M10. Okay, okay. so save as this one. This is nut M10. Okay, save it. Okay, again save as. Okay, you have to give the another nut. So, what is that? Lock nut M10. So, LOCK lock nut M10. Okay, and so in the protrusion, right click the protrusion, dynamic edit you have to give, and here you have to select the 8 mm you have to select and it will come uh, edit the edit to 5 mm thickness 
so the thickness of the bolt will be changing so again save as okay lock net m10 it's already saved so you have to give only save option okay save two times let's complete the lock nut bolt